Uh, so I would like to start, if you don't mind. So just please introduce yourself. Uh, just uh, who are you guys? It would be nice to know. Uh, let's start with, uh, sorry, Netanel. Hi, um, I'm, oh, did I just, sorry, I just paused for a second. I'm Netanel. Yeah. Um, and I went to college in New York. I studied, um, well, I went to Cooper Union for art, and now I'm really interested in documentary filmmaking. Um, that's kind of what I ended up working on in my thesis. So, yeah, that's why I'm here. Thank you. And where are you from? I'm uh, originally from Tel Aviv, but I moved. Um, so, I don't know, Texas and New York. <laughs> Texas and New York. Yeah. That, that's great. Jasmine? This is your name? Jasmine, yeah. Ah, no, Janine, sorry. Oh, so, sorry. I thought like my okay. glasses, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, um, I studied uh, multimedia production and I'm now working at the university in Zurich as a filmmaker, um, but I'm interested to, to do a master's in documentary um, filmmaking. Yeah. Okay, so you, you came from Swiss? Yes. Ah, nice. And cool. what about you? Cool, right? Uh, yeah. Good evening. My name is Ankur. I'm I'm from India, actually, Mumbai. Uh, I'm actually a working professional, but uh, I I feel that we don't have any, you know, specially uh, uh, special uh, filmmaking course uh, in documentary filmmaking. So I'm mean, more interested to go further. I mean, pursue this course uh, in master's degree. I've done my uh, bachelor's in political science. I have also done my uh, fine arts in, uh, in, in, a, in a paintings and graphics and drawings in, uh, in diploma, actually. It was diploma. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Uh, who else we have here? Uh, it's Dana CD, right? Yeah, yeah, it's me. How, how are you, Dana? So please, can you tell me a little bit? Uh, okay, so I'm 18. So uh, at the moment, I don't really have any degree because I finished school recently. Um, I was interested in filmmaking for a very long time. And at school, I was always trying to like write plays or just something artsy <laughs> that could be shown to people. Uh, Right now, I um, I live in Israel. Uh, originally, I'm from Russia. I don't remember if I already said that or not. Uh, in Russia, I also wanted to go study in one of the most known uh, cinematography universities, but I didn't get much uh, enough time uh, for many reasons. One of which is well, I moved to Israel. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you so much, Raúl. Hello everyone, my name is Rahul and I'm from India as well. I recently graduated in cinema and I really wanted to pursue my master's in filmmaking and this course particularly my uh, documentary filmmaking in Israel caught my attention, yeah. Okay, thank you and we have uh, one more, Alain, right? Yeah, hi. Hi, how are you? I'm fine, how are you? Um, I'm an older semester, as you can see. Um, uh, I, I did some some filmmaking for commercials, as I'm in in uh, in, in uh, advertising. I'm working in advertising, and uh, that's why I wanted to maybe uh, yeah go to a filmmaking school and uh, uh, do some some more education in that area. Okay, well, and where are you coming from? Uh, from Zurich as well. Zurich, that's wonderful. So my name is Antal, I'm the head of the MFA documentary, international documentary uh, program. I created this uh, program a few years ago, and actually next year will be the first time that we open, uh, we open uh, the, the MFA. So it's be quite a young program and we still try to, uh, adjust ourselves to the needs of the student and we change here and there, but we have some experience so far about how it works. Uh, 
and um, I must say we are quite happy with the results. I would like to, to use this time with you to give you some uh, background about the program, about the uh, workshops, uh, courses, and, and, and et cetera, and uh, mainly listen to you, your uh, questions and try to answer that. Um, first of all, um, it's the, 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 the program is um, for semester, uh, but the last one, you can go back to your home home countries and, and do the last semester online because the last semester is dedicated to the final project. Uh, so we finish all the all the workshop and the classes that you that need to be uh, you know in person in the three uh, semester in the in the first three semester in a row. It's mean. Uh, uh, the, the, the spring, the autumn, the spring, and the summer. And then in the last one, uh, as I say, you can, you can, of course, you're welcome to stay in Tel Aviv, but you can go back to Zurich, uh, Texas, uh, Mumbai, or, you know, any place that, uh, this is the place that you're going to shoot your final project. Um, the, the program is uh, more about doing films than about talking about the films. So if you're interested in, actually practice and, and uh, do a lot of exercise and thinking about the commentary and how to be a filmmaker, I think it's a good program. If you are more interested in research uh, and what we call cinema study, maybe it's not the, 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 the right program for you. Um, any, any semester happens with a kind of theme, but uh, it's, it's, uh, we play with that. The, the, the first semester, uh, we have uh, the director, the directing uh, workshops uh, dealing with, uh, um, let's say, direct cinema story that's happened here. Um, so just a second, somebody I'm going to come back to the session. Um, so this would be the directing uh, workshop, and and then we have uh, cinematography one. Um, um, uh, we have another one the, that's a seminar that's dealing with theory, in the, you know, in the, uh, in the, the commentary world. Um, we have an ethnographic workshop and uh, another one that's uh, you, you, a student have the chance to meet every week with uh, another Israeli director watch the film, ask, ask a lot of questions about it. This is the first semester. Between the first and the second, we try to do, in the last two years, we have problem with that because of the, you know, the epidemic and COVID, uh, but we will, uh, what we want to do is to bring to Tel Aviv international artists that do like a masterclass. Uh, it's very beautiful and, you know, a lot of inspiration for students. And we hope that we'll manage to do it this year as well. And we plan definitely plan to do it next year. Um, the second semester, we're doing the second uh, photography, cinematography class. Uh, we're doing the first editing class, research class, and how to write a script, script class. Uh, and the theory is about ethics. Uh, and in the last semester, in the summer, uh, the, ah, and the directing class would be about uh, testimony and archive. If the first semester, it's more about story that's happened here in the present. So in the second one, we're dealing with, uh, with uh, stories that's happened in the past. So it's a totally different uh, approach, uh, cinematic approach. Uh, in the summer, uh, the directing uh, workshop will deal with uh, cinema that's related to a place. It's more about places than about one protagonist that leading the, pro the, the, the film. We have the second editing uh, class, um, a sound design workshop and um, production, how to go from script to production. And another seminar that dealing with trauma in the Israeli documentary cinema. And then we move to the last one that I mentioned earlier that you can, you know, you, you, you're welcome to stay in Tel Aviv, but you can go back and work with our mentors online that you uh, require to, to start to work about your final project. Of course, you can uh, start to work about the final project earlier if you are, know what you are doing and use any of the workshop to develop and testing 
and thinking together with the teachers uh, about what do you want to do as a final project. <clears throat> but uh, many students change their mind, uh, obviously, uh, and it's very natural during the study. All the teachers are professional working in the Israeli industry, you know, with a uh, uh, very impressive uh, background in, in the commentary. You, you can, of course, Google them and see what they did before. Um, and uh, we have all the equipment in the university, very good one, equipment, camera, uh, sound recording, light if you know if you need. Uh, and also um, there's a lot of uh, uh, editing room that you can edit in, in the university, but most of the students these days like to do it at home with, uh, you know, with their personal computer, but it's possible to do it in, in the school as well. Um, we managed to, in the last few years, to support uh, uh, the final project with some money. Um, we don't know what will be in the in the future, but I hope it will. Uh, we can do it even next year or the, in, in two years from now. Uh, but we really want to do that. The, the Tel Aviv Film School is uh, is a very big one, and there's a lot of uh, activities that uh, the, the MFA, the Commentary MFA, can join uh, and, and and do more stuff uh, under the the wings of, of, of our class and our, and our school. Uh, so there is a lot of opportunity there. Also, um, usually there is somebody from Town International here that speak about the university in general. Uh, this is not what I'm doing, but you know, Tel Aviv University, you can, you can go online, see all the details is a very big one. And Tel Aviv, of course, is a, a very nice place for young people to hang out and, uh, experience, uh, you know, the live in Tel Aviv. Uh, this is more or less the program. Uh, as I said, it's, uh, it's more about doing, you know, we talk a lot about exercise and, uh, uh, but we really push students to, to shoot and edit, shoot and edit, shoot and edit. We believe that this is the only way to become a filmmaker. Of course, you need to, you, you need the background, intellectual background. Uh, you need to know cinema, you need to watch cinema without watching a, a lot of uh, films. Uh, it's impossible to be a, a good filmmaker. Uh, but uh, behind that, you know, just uh, be just walking, you know, doing hard, hard work. This is the only way uh, to be able to um, adjust and develop your own language, your own genre, and to understand where you are and where you want to be and what kind of documentary cinema you want to practice because it's like an ocean, you know, it's so open, so creative, yeah, there's so much creativity in the documentary cinema. Um, and, and sometimes people, uh, you know, got, got lost in that. So I think the, in my experience, the first semester, it's overwhelming in many ways because you can, I don't know what kind of background you came, each, each one of you, but most of the students, even if they think they know a lot about, about the documentary cinema, they don't know. Uh, so the option are, you know, it's, it's endless and sometimes it's hard to find your place uh, in, in what we call nonfiction. Uh, but it's take time and I believe and if it's a, if it's a real, if it is a real passion, it's possible and it's very exciting to, to try to work with materials that you collect from reality and create your own point of view, interpretation, version, story that you want to tell. Um, so, you know, this is more or less what I, I wanted to say. Um, if we're talking about application, so what we want, you, we want you guys to go online in Tao International website. Um, you know, you need to open some your own cards, stuff like that, and pay the registration fee and then upload all the materials that uh, they ask you. And there is, for me, there's two steps. The first one that uh, Tel Aviv University need to um, give us green, green light about your bachelor degree. That's, uh, they are recognized the university. Uh, you have to upload all the transcript and, and all the document they're asking for. And then when they say that it's okay, or you can do it parallel, of course, uh, we want you guys to send us one page, you know, up to one page about yourself, CV, etc., and why 
you feel that you want to come to Tel Aviv to do the, all this effort and, you know, spending time and money to come to Tel Aviv and try to practice uh, documentary cinema, where this uh, craziness came from. And uh, in another up to one page uh, proposal for final project, it's important for us to, uh, that you start to think about it from uh, day one, even, you know, I, as I said, many people change their mind and it's, it's okay and it's natural, but it's also giving me and to my fellows some ideas, what kind of uh, story and what kind of uh, area you want to research with your film. So this uh, one page about proposal and uh, the proposal, it's not something you have to do during the study, but it gave us some information about what they want to go, what kind of direction. And then uh, I really want to see some, to get some link for previous works. You know, it could be any audiovisual works, but uh, it's very, very important for us to understand your skills, uh, creativity, and you know, what kind of uh, level in, the, in cinema, documentary cinema, video art, whatever you are, you are right now. Um, so that's it. So if you have any questions, I think it's time for questions. Yes, anyone? Who is the first one? No questions? Yeah, I guess. Hi, I'm sorry you, 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 you kicked out and I tried to... to yeah. Exactly. I was just writing you an email. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Uh, I will send you the, the recording, okay? Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Um, okay, any questions? We are in the question time. Anyone? Who will be the first one? Everything is clear? It's impossible. May I... What? So may I proceed to ask? Yeah, yeah, just go ahead. So what are the, uh, is there a dedicated placement selling university for job and internship opportunities in Israel? It's very difficult uh, because uh, you have the obstacle of language. Um, so I find it very difficult for us to help with jobs and, you know, internship and stuff like that. Uh, some students try to do it by themselves you know, to go here and there, but uh, not through the university. Um, okay. Through the university, it's a, it's a, we are not so strong with that. And especially because of, you know, the industry and most of the staff are in uh, Hebrew. Uh, but sometimes I guess it's possible. It's possible. Uh, I don't know what is the student visa allowed you to do, uh, but this is kind of questions you need to ask Tower International about all these legal questions. Um, there is also uh, some possibility, not too much for uh, uh, scholarships, but you also need to go online in Tower International website and try to figure out where is the, that and if it's fit, fit to your uh, background, etc. But it's also possible, but. Uh, less than what I want it to be. But uh, if you are serious about it, you need to start to work on, on this right now. Okay. Okay? Okay. Okay, more well, so, questions. So, you know, I mean, I was as asking the same kind of question. I mean, uh, if, if you don't know Hebrew, then will it be okay? I mean, is it uh, only in English uh, course or maybe we need uh, some kind of uh, knowledge of Hebrew? No, the, the program is 100% in English. Uh, so the, everybody, you know, the teachers, the class in English, uh, any of, uh, of the exercise need to be subtitled to English. So it's 100% it's English. Um, and the rest of the, of the film school are in Hebrew. So it's, that's why we are like a, a boutique closed program and it's impossible for students to you know, to pick up a lot of the opportunity that, uh, you know, the, the bachelor degree and the MFA and the MA and all the uh, many option in, in the school because there is in Hebrew. Uh, but the, the MFA and uh, the commentary cinema is totally in English. No need for Hebrew. 
but when but they're all asking about about job outside of of, of the of the university or in the university and uh, i mean generally since you told that it's a very i mean it's a young course it's a new course right so i mean what's your experience what kind of stories uh, students tell i mean uh, because i believe uh, uh, tel aviv is a comparatively large city but uh, i don't know the what kind of stories people students tell over there i mean if if i if i assume that i am going to shoot something and then uh, tell some stories then will it be there i mean i think the uh we also yeah we are we are very young only two years and and the final project just start to you know be shaped because it's take time to create the commentary a good one uh but for i it's up to you but i think final project need to be at home i mean it's so hard to do a good documentary and if you put on all the obstacles also the the, the language and culture that you don't know when you don't understand all the nuance and on the inter inter conflict in the culture it's very difficult you need a lot of experience Uh, to go out of your culture and, and understand and, and have all the, the experience to walk in a, a foreign uh, country. It's possible and great filmmakers do that. But I think for the first, the first uh, short film, I think I recommend you to do it in, in India, uh, to find a subject that you must to do, uh, you know, that you... need to do and, and do it at home and uh, not do it in Tel Aviv. Of course, all the exercise during the, 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 three fir- the, the first three semester you can do in Tel Aviv or in any other place in Israel. But when you are starting to develop your own project, I, I believe you know, it's up to you uh, that, I, I met one, that uh, you should do that in Israel. India. Yeah, okay. But I we can one, discuss uh, Israeli... it. filmmaker who, who made film over here in India uh, and he, he was again he made um, almost film like in, in, in Hindi actually. So yeah, yeah. Possible, I, I think it's possible difficult. of course it's possible but uh, from the way I experience the difficulties of students uh, sometimes it's uh, it's not the best way to start. to start a career as a filmmaker. But you know, it, it would be the student decision. It's not my, I get you. only can suggest you what to do. And how the, how the production process will go on? I mean, do you invite any production houses to pitch them or maybe uh, we no. have to find out any production houses or what? No, no, it's not a professional. We don't do, of course you can work with production about a uh, company, but uh, mainly student films are short, uh, short one. We're talking about 20, 25 minutes. And uh, uh, because there is no money there, there is no uh, production company u- usually. There's no com- uh, uh, production company that will go in and join the project. Uh, we have some projects that succeed to, uh, to become um, uh, sexy enough to production company in Israel and they will go to be a feature film. But it's so personally and you know we need to, to see what is the project and what is the ability of the filmmaker and the, you know it's, uh, it's, it's hard to, to say in general. It's uh, based on the specific project with the opportunity and the obstacle and, and etc. Anyone else? Uh, I have oh okay. Uh, yeah. no, no. no, 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 the Netanel was first, I'll go after okay. that. It's okay, um, okay, thanks, I guess. Um, uh, I have a question, I guess two things. The first one is if you could give an example of like one of the first few projects assigned. What do you mean? Like the, the, the final? Not the final, but like, I don't know, like an exercise or like some, a prompt that's given like in the first semester. I don't feel comfortable to share without asking the student, uh, but you know, we you, you just throw you to the water and you start to swim. And sometimes it's uh, what the fuck is going on, but uh, I believe this is the only way. So it's, it's about exercise. It's not, uh, 
uh, because it's a, it's a journey. It's a journey that you need to start somewhere. And you know, anyone came from different level. Uh, uh, this is one of the problems. Uh, so it's not. Um, for me, I, I'm more interesting about uh, what do you want to to achieve? What kind of target do you have, and and what kind and how you shape the road? And I'm not so interesting about the first uh, exercise if it's excellent or sometimes uh, even if, if even if it's a failure, I don't know what is a failure, but if it's not working, uh, if you testing something interesting, it's much more. Uh, could be much more interesting for me than somebody that do the you know the the, the right way. So it's it's very difficult to judge good and bad uh, yeah. during the first uh, the first and also the second uh, semester. I think uh, that, um, for me at least, I really want uh, to see filmmaker that's going all the way to the to the final project. And if the final project is good enough, I think it's a, it's a good uh, card for the you know for your next steps as a, as a filmmaker uh, in in the state or whatever you want to live. So uh, uh, the exercise during the study just uh, try to shape your ability to work with camera, editing, thinking genre, thinking style, language, and 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 try to find uh, your way to tell a story because there is no one way. Yeah. And that's what's so beautiful about it. Yeah, I'm just like, the reason why I'm really applying, like I really need help because I came here to make a documentary and now I have all my footage and I am so lost in the process of putting it together. And I need, like, I think I need just more like in depth, like in, in a program like this to help because I'm just so stuck because there are so many opportunities and like ways to share a story. Yeah, I think if, you know, if you want to go to the next step, I, it would be very easy for me to connect you to student uh, uh, that study right now, or you know, finish last year the, the three semester, and I guess this would be much more be uh, good good uh, information for you for somebody like you, let's say from the state, or we have two students from India this year, so I can connect you guys with them. Um, also, so. Uh, you can, I, I guess you can find yeah. out much easier through student uh, about this kind of uh, feeling lost and what is the right way to to find your way. I'm not sure they find their way so far, but, <laughs> but, but this is very common, you know, you're not alone in this kind of feeling. You're not alone. Yeah, yeah Dana. So you said, yeah, you said the uh, two students are already there. Yeah. Now, right now, they start, uh, you know, four months ago from okay. India. Yeah. So they can give you, a, I think, all the, a lot of information. Okay. So we, we are very happy to have a student from India. It's beautiful. Hopefully, yeah. we will also. <laughs> Dana, any question? You want to ask? Yeah, something? I, I have a couple of questions. Uh, yeah. First of all, uh, this program is it just for people from there that are not from Israel? Like no, uh, so far we have like uh, uh, more than half from Israel because you know we are a young program and it's very difficult year. You know, with the epidemic and everything, people it's very difficult for students to move and uh, for many reasons. I guess you you understand that. Mm -hmm. uh, so I I believe that in the next few years we. The, the amount of uh, non-Israeli would be, I hope, uh, 60, 70 percent. But right now, we have 60, 70 percent from Israel and like uh, 30, 40 percent non-Israeli. Mm -hmm. uh, I just have a problem with the language barrier because, well, I've been in the country for like three and a half year, um, years, months, and uh, my Hebrew is not that good, and I'm afraid I won't be able to learn it by the time that I have to study in the university. Okay. Yeah, but we don't read in English. There's no problem. But you, yeah. you told me you told me earlier that you don't have bachelor degree. Right? Yeah. So it's uh, you. You need to have a BA in order to start okay. MFA. So without that, the university will not allow you to join the program. Mm -hmm. Think about that. So I have to get a degree first. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, guys, any, anyone else? Janine, so, you want to say something? Yeah, yeah, I don't know if you already told that and answered that, so I don't know. Maybe you tell me and I will just watch it. But um, how many people do you accept to the program? Uh, 22. Yeah, with 22 students, this is the maximum. Um, yeah. And what do you expect from the people applying? Like in the portfolio, what do you want to see? How many films or what we already need to apply? Uh, yeah, I talk about it. Uh, we have two steps. Uh, one, the university need to approve your, uh, your bachelor degree, you know, they recognize the university, all this kind of stuff between university and to see uh, the grades, uh, the transcript, diploma and everything. Uh, and in your case also, I guess some kind of uh, English test uh, because you didn't, your bachelor degree is not in the English, um, you know, language. Uh, but this is not a problem at all. And then, uh, or in parallel, you, you need to upload or send directly to us uh, one page, up to one page about yourself, kind of CV and why you want to come to Tel Aviv, study the commentary. Uh, and then up to one page about your idea for final project uh, and links to your previous works. It could be any audiovisual works. And, you know, you need to set the sum of the, I hope you have ones and, and something that you are happy to share with us. Uh, and then, of course, I didn't mention it earlier, we, we, we're doing uh, an interview, interview with you guys, uh, me and, and another teacher from the school. And then we have a committee that's, uh, you know, give you the decision about it. And uh, if you are accepted, you need to pay the first payment, I guess, around uh, August or something. Mm -hmm. If you want to register for the drone, drone, you need to do it. I don't know. It's, it's earlier. So, uh, of course, there's a lot of uh, question about how to, you know, adjust to all the stuff in Tel Aviv. Uh, apartments and, and visa you know the, the the question of visa wasn't so easy in the last two years but it's possible you know student came to tel aviv even if the, in the middle of the you know the, the crisis and everything uh, and also we succeed to do uh teaching in person even uh, most of the world was uh, online because we don't believe in online so uh, we've been in class, we did been hybrid, we built tent outside of the university, we rent some uh, spaces outside of university uh, to be with students, uh, uh, and uh, we did a lot of effort not to do online. That's why I'm not, uh, if you cannot enter Israel for any reasons, uh, the epidemic or other reason, we don't uh, accept students uh, that study outside of Israel because uh, uh, you don't believe in this kind of method when you study art and, and cinema as a, you know, it's a collective art. You know? um, and please, if you're really serious about apply to, to this program, you know, start to start all the processes as soon as possible. Uh, it's really helpful. And, and about like the films you want to see, um, is there like, a, what do you expect there? That it's like a, a short film or like already really a good documentary or what do you want no, to No, it see? could be fiction, it could be uh, video art, it could be anything that you feel comfortable with. Okay, okay. We, could, uh, we can see uh, your ability in, in cinematography, in editing, thinking about uh, working with images. Uh, so we can, we, can, we can learn a lot, even if it's not pure uh, conservative uh, documentary piece, you know. So don't, don't be shy and don't, don't be afraid. Share, share with us any piece that you made that's, and you feel proud or comfortable enough to share with us, okay? okay. We, we are not accepting anything. We are really open to, to many people from many different background, we actually believe in different backgrounds, you, you know, you don't need to come from the cinema factory 
in order to make cinema, some of the most interesting artists came from different angles, different fields, and make the discussion much more rich and, and, and fascinating. So we are open, but we don't want somebody that's not what we do. It's not a question of don't want. It's it's difficult for us to accept somebody that um, have no skills with editing, shooting, mm -hmm. uh, and with some some uh, experience in, in creating, you know, stuff. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Thank you. You're welcome. Anyone else? So, what about the work study culture in the university? Are we allowed to work while in the course of the program? just to make some extra money like that, because I'm considering all the options now to fund my study. I think you should ask the international uh, this kind of legal question. I'm not expert in that. I know student works, maybe not official, you know, not uh, as a payroll, uh, but this, this kind of question, please write email to uh, our coordinator or to Tao International, and I hope they will be able to give you the correct answer. Okay. Okay. I know some people work online back, back home. I don't know if it's possible for you, but students do that. You know, they contend that now and many people don't need to go to the office. Uh, in some uh, jobs, you can continue to do uh, money and uh, stay like a few hours, uh, you know, time zone from your office. You know, so, okay. Thank you. Okay, thank you, uh, Mr. Pika. No action, no, no uh, question for your side so far. So far, no. Thank you. Okay, that's great. Uh, so uh, you know, last chance for questions, but uh, uh, you're always welcome to send me an email and ask more question uh, for me or to or to our office. Um, Aya, she's not here, but she's very nice and willing to help. And of course, Tao International is also there for helping you with all the questions. Uh, uh, so it's uh, really uh, interesting to see you in the next steps of the application. And uh, we are here for you guys, okay? So thank you for your time. And can you send me your email, Janine, that I can send you the record? Yeah. yeah. So put, put it here on the chat and uh, I will pick it up from here. Okay, Tadaraba, thank you so thank much. Thank you, Tadaraba. Have a, a nice oh. evening or morning or I don't know, what, where are you? Take care. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. So you send me out. Okay, this is your email. Okay, I did not, yeah. Okay, thank you. Bye.